You also launched uh, another product recently, the high growth ETF. The symbol is HIPR. HIP is in Peter R. That tracks the investment results of the Russell 1000, what's called the hyper growth index. Now, I'm curious about what is in this index and the methodology behind it, Dave. So maybe you can enlighten us. What's in this and explain the methodology? How do you become a hyper growth and get into this? Yeah, uh, uh, what hyper is really about is how do I find those high growth companies, those hyper growth companies that have the potential for sustained growth going forward? It's very easy just to take a screen of what companies have had the highest sales growth or earnings growth in the past or maybe even forecasted. But what we do for this particular fund is we combine a screen of companies that have grown sales in the past, have high expected earnings growth, but also maybe most importantly, high expected cash flow growth. But we also look at a company's balance sheet to ensure that they're not over leveraging uh, or taking on significant debt just to pay for that growth. Uh, and then lastly, uh, taking a look at, at stocks that have had positive momentum. So our research showed that this combination, so top line, bottom line, growth, momentum and high quality leads you to a universe of stocks that have shown great growth in the past, but really the potential for uh, growth going forward. So in this fund right now, Apple has a healthy, uh, a, a healthy weight at 13% in the portfolio, Amazon 7%, but then a name like Vertex Pharmaceuticals is also close to 7%. So you're going to see names in here that you know, uh, again, your Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, but also yeah. you're going to see names that you, you, you might not be as familiar with. Yeah. So, Tom, uh, this checks. We've been doing this a while, <laughs> you and I as well. This checks all the factor, you know, right, the right check marks. You, you got growth, you got quality, <laughs> and you got and momentum. I mean, that's, that's your big three right there. Uh, it, it's, it's sort of ingenious to be able to combine them uh, in the right way. Of course, the question is, how, how do they all put together and what's the, what's the, uh, what's the weighting of, of each one? Well, but what, well, what could go wrong with this? That's the idea. Time? I mean, you know, conventional indexes have done fine, but we're going to probably be in a period of time, Bob, where uh, certain factors are going to be challenged. Certain sectors are going to be challenged. So uh, what we're finding in interviewing and surveying advisors all the time, they're moving and shifting a little bit away from low-cost, pure beta strategies, and they don't mind paying up a little bit more for more intelligent strategies. And you know, folks like Direction and many other companies are rolling out more of these intelligent strategies.